Welcome back to Hot Hot Raider Blog. I'm Hudson Boggs and today we will be covering the AFC North and going into an in-depth overview and predicting where the teams will stand this year. So let's get to it. We're going to start with the Baltimore Ravens. So uh, the uh, question with ba the Baltimore Ravens is how Lamar Jackson is going to be able to play through an entire year. He had a 6-1 and one, uh, record as a starter, really uh, pushed the Ravens through what seemed to be a hard time when Joe Fl Flacco got injured, but really uh, re, uh, re -gave, a new, gave a new structure to the Ravens offense. He had an 84.5 passer rating, not bad what they're expecting, though a little bit more, tried to stay a little bit more comfortable in the pocket, kind of jumped out a little bit too quickly. So hopefully there's a little bit more improvement there for Lamar Jackson. And on the running back, uh, position they uh, signed Mark Ingram and also they uh, had Gus Edwards last year who actually averaged 5.2 yards a carry uh, and, and a, a great player that they uh, dra drafted and he's really uh, even though he only had two touchdowns last year he really did a really good job at five yards a carry hopefully Mark Ingram will push him though to his full extent and on the defensive side, they uh, signed Earl Thomas, added to one, the number one defense, but they did lose Eric Weddle. Some question as well, though, as Earl Thomas missed a lot of last year. He's been very consistent, but hopefully he'll be able to regain his role that he had with Seattle in the Legion of Boom. Hopefully that will turn out well for Seattle, uh, Baltimore. But if Lamar Jackson can take over like he did last year throughout the entire season, it, Baltimore will be a really good team this year and definitely threat the AFC North. Now moving on to the Cincinnati Bengals, uh, they parted ways with Marvin Lewis and ha have a new coach, Zach Taylor. Hopefully, uh, Bengals will be able to regroup after this, have had some really sloppy seasons the last couple of years. Hopefully, uh, it will turn out well as it, some a little bit of disappointment for some people as Marvin Lewis left, but also uh, a little bit more excitement with a new coach. But this year will also be a make or break year for Andy Dalton. Had some really great years, but Bengals are looking for a little bit more. And don't be surprised if Andy Dalton doesn't show up this year if he doesn't come back next year. But hope, hopefully Andy Dalton will regroup with new coach and figure out a way to make this work. And then uh, the, uh, they have, uh, sorry, they have one of the worst... Uh, had one of the worst defenses last year in the league. They uh, the only starting addition to worst the, to the worst de defense in the league was linebacker Jermaine Pratt, who is a rookie from North Carolina State. Uh, a little bit of kind of question there as they're getting a new coach, but their defense is still really struggling. Hopefully, this will turn out okay, but definitely uh, some disappointment as there has been no improvement there, and uh, but. Between a struggling defense, uh, struggling QB, and a new head coach, uh, they will. It could be a bumpy road for again another bumpy road for Cincinnati this year. Now moving on to the Cleveland Browns, uh, they have excellent additions, uh, but they also have belief in Baker Mayfield and new head coach. Uh, they believe that a Super Bowl run is possible, and really with these additions, it seems like it's possible, but hopefully everything will work as uh, hopefully all these additions will be able to work well with each other. Uh, and so they traded for Odell Beckham Jr., who will rejoin with college teammate uh, Jarvis Landry. Hopefully both of them will really help Baker Mayfield, two of some of the greatest receivers in the NFL, and hopefully will give a little bit um, uh, more uh, intelligence to this wide receiver side as they have struggled for the last couple of years here. And on the defensive side, again, more great additions between Sheldon Richardson and Oliver Vernon, who were added to one of the worst defensive fronts last year. They did lose uh, Ogba, Emmanuel Ogba, but hopefully these two will uh, fill those shoes and hopefully improve that position even more. And then on 
they added uh, Kareem Hunt and Eric Murray, two players from the Chiefs. One on, uh, Kareem Hunt, though, will be suspended for the first half of the season. And hopefully, though, after his suspension, he will uh, work well with Nick Chubb and really make this one of the best r r rush games in the league. So another threat for the Cleveland Browns and then Eric Murray as well a great safety who will hopefully replace uh, Jabril Peppers who left to the Giants and then the trade for OBJ and but Eric Murray another great vet veteran from the Chiefs that they signed and hopefully he will work well with this defense but if uh, all these pro bowlers can work well together and if Mayfield can do as well as he did last year new coach does great, then Browns are definitely going to make a concerning run at the Super Bowl. So AFC North is going to have to watch out. Now going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So a lot of um, questions here as Antonio Brown leaves uh, a big shock, but also not a shock at the same time. But if how will Big Ben uh, move on without Antonio Brown is going to be the biggest question. They have had so many distractions this last year as uh, they just really never really pulled together as they have in so many other years as they went to the uh, Super Bowl years ago. And hopefully Big Ben is going to be able to work well with Juju Smith-Schuster and uh, rebuild this offense back up with the loss of Antonio Brown. Now they finished 31st in rush yards uh, last year, even with James Conner who returns, but also they drafted uh, rookie Benny Snell out of Kentucky University. Uh, an amazing player, leads rush yards in Kentucky. Could be a little bit more on the short yardage uh, rushes, but will definitely give a bigger body to uh, help a struggling Pittsburgh uh, uh, rushing area. But, uh, but really, if the Steelers can move on from distractions and uh, get away from the distraction of Antonio Brown and Big Ben can focus on Juju Smith-Schuster and hopefully some new receivers will help them as well. Hopefully they'll be able to uh, t take a big swallow and move on and through a much improved AFC North this year. So thank you for watching Hot Hot Reader Blog. If you thought this video was helpful or you liked it, please like or subscribe. And if you have any thoughts, please drop a comment in the comment box below. That would be much appreciated. We'll see you next time.